hey 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 welcome if you are new here thank you for clicking on this video welcome back if you have been here before i am freya this is budgie budgets and it's sunday it's a beautiful sunday you guys are so nice and sunny here um so today we are doing our regular budget with me cash on stuffing weekly check-in what else do we do on a sunday our weekly roundup so um we've had a seriously spendy week slash weekend. Um, so we did end up going to um, Hills Hill Sanctuary yesterday. So for those of you who are not uh, in Victoria, Hills Hill Sanctuary is our like um, native zoo, I suppose you would call it, well, sanctuary, clearly, um, where we have all of our native animals um, and they do a lot of um, like animal conservation and things like that. So we went and spent the day there. It was so, so nice. It got busy as we were leaving, but we were there for most of the day. Um, and we saw some really cute stuff, you guys. I might try and put in some photos or little videos because the little echidnas were all out and about. They were so active. I got some videos of them. There was a baby koala um, who was only nine months old and we just happened to be there at the right time um, because the keeper said he was in there taking photos and he was his first time they've seen her um, unlatch from her mom. She was so tiny and so cute. Um, yeah, so it was really, really nice, but it was very, very spendy, um, which is fine. It was, yeah, it was a nice way to spend the day. So um, what else have we been up to? I think that's the big, that's the big um, headline for the week. So today we are unstuffing uh, 550 from electrical because our bill came in. It's like $548.60 or something. So I'm just going to unstuff the 550. I'll either leave whatever changes in that account or I'll roll it up into groceries because you all know that our groceries category always needs money. Uh, so that leaves us with 50, 60, 70 and 80 dollars in electricity, which is good. Glad we got a bit of a buffer there. This is the one. So our gas is usually higher over winter and our electricity is lower. And then over summer, our electricity is higher and our gas is lower, mostly because we have um, gas ducted heating for our house and our air conditioner is run on electricity. Um, so yeah, that's pretty much why that happens. Um, now home, what was it? I need to take out 10. So I'm just gonna grab, I have got some change over here. So we're gonna put in, I'm gonna put that 20 back over there. So we'll take out 10 and put in a 10. Um, that was for, I bought fly swats off of Amazon because it's getting to that time of year where the sun comes out and therefore so do the big disgusting blowflies and I can't stand having them in the house. But I also can't stand the smell of um, the bug spray. It's so gross. Um, so yeah, that's all for this binder. Then we are unstuffing. Oh gosh, you guys. <laughs> like we just put the money in here and we're taking it all. So 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 55 and 60 dollars coming out of clothes. Uh, I kind of suspected that was going to happen that as soon as I had a bit of money in there I would use it. Um, mostly went towards the kids. I got a t-shirt and a pair of pants for my son um, and another pair of leggings for my little girl. Uh, just as the seasons change and they're growing they just needed a little bit more stuff so I was like do you know what I've got the money there I'll just get it uh no I still need this one too and we are also taking $20 out of hair uh, my son has not had his hair cut yet but I bought a new hairbrush for my youngest daughter she has really super thick um, hair and it's getting curlier and curlier as she uh, grows as she ages um so yeah, I, we want to try a different brush because it's literally tears every time we brush her hair and because obviously it gets so knotty because it's so, um, it's so thick um, and it's so curly. So we bought another brush. It's already arrived. She's tried it, loves it. So well worth it. Uh, we are taking everything out of family funds with 20, 40, 60, 70, 80, 90, 105 dollars is all coming out. And also everything out of Father's Day. Um, so this is what I, oh, motorbike going down my street, 20, 40, 60, 70, 80, 95. Um, so that's what I meant when I said, I'll take that one out and clean it off. Um, that we had a very spendy weekend, because <laughs> we did. Um, because we went to Hillsville Sanctuary, and it is 
It's so expensive just to get in there, you guys. Like zoos in um, Victoria now, it's $50 for an adult, or $53 actually for an adult to get in. Um, the kids are free, which is nice. But um, yeah, we went and we went to the zoo and then we um, had lunch there, which was another expensive endeavor. And then we got ice cream on the way home. So that's where all that went, basically. Um, yeah, it was it was spendy. Um, so we are taking out 550 in placeholders and then 20, 40, 60, 81, 20, 40, 50, 60, 70, 80, 92, to 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 70, 80, 90. Ugh, 290, that's a lot. So $840 coming out of our envelopes. But do you know what? We had a great day. It was a great time. Was, that was our Father's Day celebration. Um, for any of you that didn't catch my video last week, my daughter was really sick still over Father's Day. So we decided to postpone Father's Day so that we could go and spend the day out together. Um, so that was our Father's Day. I did buy him a couple of presents as well. That also came out of the Father's Day category. Just little things like a couple of pairs of socks and a t-shirt and... Oh, I can't remember what else. Um, so, yeah, it was it was an awesome day out. It was an expensive day out, but we didn't have to use our credit card at all. That all came out of our envelopes, and that is the whole point, which is awesome. So, moving right along, we will do our Round It Up Challenge, and I will speed this up for you guys, but this week, because it has been a spendy week, we have $5.04 to colour off on here. There we go. So that's good. There's already more than $30 in there now, which is awesome. And it's just money that we don't really notice. Um, the kind of sneaky comes out of other categories, really. Um, and I just round them up. Um, okay, so that is that one. And then we are gonna do our weekly check-in. So I've decided, you guys, I'm gonna start using these. Um, just because I have them. <laughs> They're huge, enormous. Um, let me just, I don't even know if I need to zoom you in a little bit. I probably don't because I can write it huge because they're huge. Um, because I am thinking I'm going to size them down, um, for the planner. Um, we'll probably go into an A5. So obviously once that's half A5 size, it'll be good for writing in. Uh, so we did not do well this week, you guys. Groceries. Uh, we started with 193. We didn't add anything. We spent 435. So we... I have 242 in the negative. We have done half of a shop for this week. So we'll probably do our grocery shop again on like Wednesday. So I do feel like we are catching up. Um, but I have done a bit of a rejig of our budget to put more into that category because it just obviously keeps getting away from us. Um, Takeaway or takeout, we had nothing. We added 74. We spent 104. So we've got 30 in there. But that'll be covered today. Uh, petrol. We started with negative 60 because we filled up early. We added 100. I filled up again for 62. So we're down $22. I was only going to top up for this fill up because um, I wasn't completely on empty. But I knew we were going out to Hillsville, which is a decent drive from where we are. And the petrol at my petrol station that I go to was super cheap like everywhere else it was 209.9 and at mine it was 169.9 so i was like you know what i'm just going to fill up while it's cheap um and take advantage of that so we'll cover that in today's budget as well and then chemist we had negative 20 we added 20 we haven't spent anything out of there so we've got nothing so you know, not great, but not too bad. These two things, well, all of them will be covered today. Groceries is the one that I'm the most kind of worried about, I suppose. Um, <clears throat> however, having said that, I have done a massive, I've been playing Tetris with our budget um, to try and move things around a little bit. So we got the um, incredible news that our lease is being renewed for another 12 months in this property which is brilliant um nice to know we're not going to be homeless nice to know we don't have to be scrambling around trying to look for a new rental however our landlord has um said he's increasing the rent by fifty dollars a week uh which sucks um it's it's a pretty substantial jump 
um, obviously <laughs> like $50 a week is nothing to sniff at. Um, so that's kind of disappointing. Look, it's to be expected. We do play like the rentals around us. If we were to leave here tomorrow, there's no way we could find another place near us and pay the same amount of rent that we're paying here. We just got lucky with timing. We got into this house when the market was quite low. Um, it was still during lockdowns and things that we moved. So it was a difficult market. Um, but he has increased the rent every year for the last three, like this will be the third year in a row. Um, so look, we'll probably go back and ask if, um, maybe we can, it can be reduced to 30 or $40 a week increase. Um, but I don't like our chances. So for now I've just built it into the budget. So starting that increase doesn't actually start until the end of November, but I am going to start it at the start of October. So I've already rejigged that budget to start putting aside that extra $50 a week. What I will do with that money through October is probably just put it into savings challenges um, so that we can boost up as many categories as we can before we're gonna take that hit um, for our housing. So um, it's kind of awesome. It kind of sucks. It is what it is. Um, you know, the, the prices of everything going up and I understand that too, like in Victoria land taxes increase for, um, for people with investment properties, there are all sorts of costs and stuff that go into it. Our house does require a lot of maintenance. It's kind of just hitting that age where things are starting to deteriorate. Um, so yeah, um, is what it is. It is what it is. On the upside, it does also look like, like my um, government payments have been all over the place. They seem to be changing every single week, which makes it incredibly difficult to budget. However, because my son turns 13 next week, they are going to increase um, after that date. So I think it's like two payments after his birthday and then they go up a little bit. So that's awesome because that will really help us, um, yeah, cover the, cover the extra cost of rent. Basically, basically what it goes up by is going to help cover the cost of rent, not all of it, but a large portion of it. So at least that's something I suppose it just sucks because it should be extra money for us to be able to spend on fun things or on getting rid of debt or whatever. Uh, and instead it's going to go to our landlord. So anyway, it is what it is. Okay. So our income, uh, for this week is 2,635 of that. Our only fixed expense that we're contributing to this week is a rent and we are putting 855 towards that. So our rent works out to be currently, um, what is it? I think it's 570 a week, roughly, uh, currently 575 a week. And it's about to go up to like 630, 635. So, um, so yeah, as you can see, I don't contribute the same amount each week, um, to that. Um, I just fit it in where I can. So that leaves us with 1,780. So groceries, as I said, we have notched up a little bit. It is something we're still going to be working on, um, trying to get it lower, but for now it is what it is. Um, takeaway is getting a hundred. So sorry, 810 going to groceries. Takeaway is getting a hundred. That'll cover off the 30 that we overspent last week and then give us $70 for this week. Um, petrol is getting 22 just to cover off that overspending. It's not normally a week that I would give petrol category money. Um, but I just don't want that overspending sitting there in our buffer. Chemist is just getting 10. Spending is just getting 10 because hubby's already done. He's already spent his spending money. Um, and then birthdays is getting a sneaky 48. Um, there's just a, there was just another couple of things that I wanted to buy for my son. Um, so I've already spent his allocated $300. And I did this with my daughter too. And that's why I put the new trackers in there for the next birthdays. Because I always seem to go just a little bit over what I currently have budgeted. Um, so yeah, it was just, yeah, a few extra things. Cause I felt bad cause I had only bought him one thing and I don't like that. Like it just feels a bit. So the other things are getting like smaller and, um, you know, nothing, nothing flash flash, but, um, yeah, it's just so that he's got more things to open on the day really. Cause he's asked everyone else for money. He wants AirPods. So, um, like his grandparents and stuff, he's asked if they can contribute some money towards that. Uh, and he doesn't usually get any gifts from his bio dad um if he's lucky he'll get a gift card uh okay so 780 remaining and then 
This is the fun part. Okay, so cash envelopes, which is basically all of our sinking funds, is getting 340. Then mini Mondays is getting 30. Savings challenges is getting 50. And something new and exciting is also getting 50. Uh, so you will see this set up tomorrow in Monday minis. If you tune in, you will find out where that $50 is going. Uh, so that totals 490, which leaves us with 290, which is all going to our Visa card for its monthly payment. And that is everything. I, mean, I should put savings down here, should I? I guess, kind of, mm, kind of, sort of. So that's our zero base budget for the week. That's how we're going. I hope that you guys are still enjoying um, budget with me videos. If you're not, just let me know. I mean, they are still very watched. I just like doing the breakdown. I know sometimes it gets monotonous because sometimes it is the same week on week, but I do also like you to see. I think, um, I think it's helpful to see what other people are spending on different things. And it's also a good reminder that... I suppose like maybe you have the same income that we do, but maybe you're paying half the amount of rent we are, or maybe you're paying double. And so that completely shifts the goalposts in terms of what you can save for and what you can afford to put in sinking funds and things like that. Or maybe you're on half of our income and your rent is the same, or, you know, maybe you can spend a lot less on groceries and this makes you feel really good about how you're getting by each week spending that much on groceries or maybe you're spending just as much as us and it's a comfort to you to see that you're not the only one struggling to keep on top of a groceries budget um I th that's why I do it I hope that it's I hope that it's helpful for you I hope that it's helpful information um I know it's not one of the more fun videos I know that cash stuffing is probably much more entertaining as is savings challenges and mini Mondays but this is the guts of it you guys without this this stuff can't happen right this has to all happen behind the scenes first for this to happen otherwise it's just, the system doesn't work it will fall down um so yeah anyway i hope that you are all having a really lovely weekend i hope the weather's as nice for you as it is here today it's absolutely glorious let's hope it stays that way i'm so sick of wind and rain um but yeah join me tomorrow for monday minis and something new and exciting i'm really i'm really looking forward to setting this up you guys um i hope that you love it too um but yeah i will see you then do not forget to like comment and subscribe if you haven't already i will throw up some more freebies i think when we hit 750 subscribers i'll drop another lot of freebies when we hit a thousand we'll do a big giveaway like a big giveaway because it'll be so exciting all right you guys have a beautiful week and i will catch you tomorrow okay love you bye bye